Hi again, we're going to do a uh, problem from section 6.5, the central limit theorem uh, section. We're going to do number 11 on page 309. So I'll read the problem. It says, a ski gondola in Vail, Colorado, carries skiers to the top of a mountain. It bears a plaque stating that the maximum capacity is 12 people or 2,004 pounds. That capacity will be exceeded if 12 people have uh, weights with the mean greater than 2,004 divided by 12, which is 167. Because men tend to weigh more than women, a worst case scenario involves 12 passengers who are all men. Uh, men have weights that are normally distributed with a mean of 172 and standard deviation of 29 pounds. So what's the probability, uh, we'll, we'll do part B here, um, find the probability that 12 randomly selected men will have a mean that is greater than 167. Okay. So if x is the weight of a randomly selected male, and we know from the problem that x is distributed as normal random variable with mean 172, standard deviation of 29, what we're trying to find is the probability that that total weight is greater than 2004. Okay? So this is the same as the probability, if I just go ahead and divide each of these by 12, the total divided by 12 is just the average, or x bar 12. And we want to find the, pro that the probability that x bar 12 is greater than 2004 divided by 12. And 2004 divided by 12 is that 167. So I'm just going to write 167 here to save a little space. Okay? Well, what do we know about x bar 12? It's not normal 172.29. x bar 12, we know, is normal uh, with mean. 172, same as the original random variable, but the standard deviation is not 29, it's 29 divided by the square root of 12, okay? And we've got an approximation for that, it's 8.3716. So this is the approximate standard deviation of x bar 12, okay? So now we just want to find the probability that x bar 12 is greater than or equal to 167, and to do that we would standardize so the probability that x bar 12, uh, we'll just go ahead and subtract um, the mean, which is, we'll call, we can call it mu x bar, or you can go ahead and write the number in, and we'll divide by sigma x bar, and here we'll standardize. So mu x bar is equal to 172, and sigma x bar is equal, it's not equal to 29, it's equal to the 8.3716. so, and since I took a normal random variable and standardized it, this is z, and here I'll take, I'll find the z-score, take 167 minus 172, and we'll divide that by 8.3716. So it's negative 0.5973. say 5973. Okay. So if you wanted to look this up in your table, it would be all the area to the right of negative 0.6. So 72.57. So that's the, the chances that if you just randomly chose 12 men, that uh, they would be more than that. 2004 pound limit. If you wanted to use stack crunch for this, again, the way to get to stack crunch is uh, go ahead and just use the link. Um, from the Moodle homepage. All right, so we again want to use, the, the, this is a normal random variable, so we want to use gra uh, stat and go down to calculator and then normal. If you wanted to just use the, the if you wanted to not be, have to use the table in the back of your book, but to get something that's very similar, you would just use a Z table, so normal, zero, one, and you want to know how much area is there to the right of negative 0.6.
This is, this is exactly what we looked up in the table, and it's 7257, just like we saw before. If you, and I believe this is the way that my stat lab wants you to answer it. If you wanted to do this a little bit more efficiently and maybe a little more accurately, um, what you would do is say that, okay, a random variable has a mean of 172 and has a standard deviation of 8.3716. It's best to round that to four places, by the way. And we want to find the probability that that is bigger than 167. Notice there's not an option that's just greater than or equal to. There's not an option for just greater because with normal random variables, that's exactly the same. So I do compute, and I get 72.48. So 7257, 7248, almost exactly the same. This is a little more accurate, but you just have to... Um, I'm not sure exactly the way that my stat lab wants that. So um, that will do it for this one. Just remember when you're doing probabilities with x-bar, uh, the mean is going to be the same when you standardize it, but you divide by not sigma, you divide by sigma divided by the square root of n. So that's it for today.